Hello again, I am Jim Bob and welcome back to City Skylines Green Cities and the Cleanup Crew Challenge here on the PS4. So as you can see from our air overhead aerial shot here, uh, our lake is definitely clearing up in quite a few patches. Uh, we're starting to see not so much in front, it's a little bit lighter in front, but certainly to the sides. Uh, we're definitely seeing some improvement in the watercolour around there by these two new pumps that we placed in over there. Uh, look how clean it's looking all the way along the coastline along here now. Uh, so this is definitely coming along quite nicely. We're also starting to see a breakdown in the centre of that really quite dark pollution. Uh, that's starting to get cleaned away. Uh, and again, you can see just how clean the water is looking by the time it gets to our pumps over there. Uh, we're really starting to see that visual now. So uh, I'm really quite pleased with the progress of our lake cleaning. We're going to continue to kind of clean our lake like this. Uh, we might start putting in some other strategic pumps in other places if we need to stimulate movement of water a little bit. But uh, so far, everything seems to be going quite nicely. Uh, and our, our little side project of cleaning the lake itself without sort of siphoning that pollution off somewhere else is seems to be going quite well. Uh, we do have a bit of a, uh, a trouble spot just there and I may possibly move one of these collectors over there. But with the way that everything's set up right now, I don't necessarily want to risk pollution sneaking back uh, in areas where I start removing some of these collectors. So we'll leave it for now, but we'll keep an eye on it. And as we get to very little pollution left in the lake, then we'll start to re replace and remove certain uh, collectors until we get down to just a few of them in the lake. I don't want to leave them all sort of dotted all over the lake like that as a permanent thing because that's just going to look bad. Uh, but yeah, they're doing the job that they need to. So we'll keep an eye on them, see how they progress. Uh, hotel district over here is looking very, very nice. Uh, lots and lots of people using the hotels, which is good to see. Lots of people parked outside. Uh, I am toying with the idea of actually changing the road here a little bit to try and get the cars into the car parks. So if I go with that road, I think that might work. There we go. And that's immediately shoved the traffic that was parked on the side of the road into the car parks. And we could do the same over here a bit as well. Well, we can't actually because we've got this boulevard along here. We've got that kind of dedicated parking lane. Uh, but uh, since we have a bus terminal here, what we are going to be doing is uh, needing to uh, upgrade that to uh, large avenue with bus lanes. So we'll do that along here. This again, it gets rid of the parking that's along the front here because obviously it becomes a dedicated bus lane. Um, but this will run through around here. And I'm just trying to figure out where I want to run it to. Uh, and I don't know whether I want to stop here. Where we kind of run up this way. Or, or maybe stop here. I think I'll probably stop at this point here. And then we can have buses that kind of run up through here. This way. The other alternative is to actually run a bus lane all the way along the front along here, actually. I might do that, actually. Yeah, let's do that. If we run it to here. And then we've got a straight line that kind of runs up to our main sort of uh, bus line over here. Uh, I could also potentially look at putting in uh, four-lane roads with buses along this route here because we we do get quite a bit of buses on here so let's see what that looks like if we put uh, a, a dedicated bus lane in here and then bring that around this way Oops. and we'll run it to there and then from that point onwards there We'll just go standard dual carriageway. Might even revert that back to dual carriageway. It's just because I've got that stop, that double stop there. It might be a better idea to actually keep them with stops. Not sure yet. Uh, and then if we go to the other end of this, we'll see we have buses that run up and down here as well. So let's put a dedicated bus lane through here as well. Block. Oh, that's where we took out that uh, health centre, isn't it? 
Uh, we've still got some very weird issues with our zoning going on over here as well. We'll have to look at that. This is all stuff that was originally like this. We haven't touched this area at all, really, apart from you know, a little bit of work with the zoning. So you can see we've still got that water tower there that you know, was there when we first uh, arrived in the city that I didn't even know was there. That still exists. Uh, and yeah, there we go. That's where our bus lanes start and stop. So, in fact, actually, the buses only go in one direction around there, don't they? So, I think I might just revert that back to standard dual carriage. In fact, let's go with that cycle lanes, isn't it? Yeah, uh, let's go with trees. A decorative trees down the middle of here. Like that. There we go. Yes, I like that. Our uh, graveyard's still emptying. What's the uh, fill rate on that up to? About half, nearly. So we've done some decent uh, work over there. A lot of traffic using this uh, this road along here, which is it, it, kind of good. That's kind of what we wanted. This to be our sort of main boulevard through here. Uh, and now we need to get a bus link uh, connected up to our main kind of bus drag, which is going to be over here. So, we want buses to sort of come up this way. Uh, and I'm just trying to think where I want to put my turning area in. I think if we get the buses going up this road... Oh wait, they're right-hand traffic, aren't they? So maybe uh, put a bus stop in just here. Loop around to here, and then come back then, and then straight down the road that way. Yeah, that would work. So let's put in uh, a new bus line. Uh, and we want this to kind of drop off from here. So let's see. Let's start at this one here. Now, why is it doing that? Why is it going all the way along there, like that? Let's make this one way before we do anything else. Let's make this little road one way. Uh, oh, actually, no, no. Ah, yes. Okay. Because of the way the buses are going to go in, maybe we check again that directional flow. Depends on where the buses are going to go in. If they're going to go in at this point and then sort of loop around like that, then that could be problematic. But I'm thinking that if we have the road come down this way and then make this road here one way going up, the buses can come in. Maybe at this point they can then loop around to their stop and then come out and, and go this way. I don't know if that's going to work. We'll have to try that. See how it works. So uh, let's go to roads. Uh, that's tram lines. There we go. We want to upgrade. And change direction. There we go. So we've got our stop there. That's going to come out this way. I've got to get back on that line now. There we go. So start a new line. Uh, and let's put our bus here as a test to see if it will go sort of straight up. So we start the line there. Uh, let's run over to this side over here. Put a stop in just there. Just probably, probably a bit too close to our bus stop actually. Uh, we'll look at moving that one in a minute. We'll put a stop there. Another one here on the corner, which is again quite close to our pier, just there, our fishing pier. Uh, put another stop along there. Kind of want one here just before the junction, perhaps. <coughs> That's then going to loop up here.
Uh, and then we want to come in here. Put a stop in there. And then from this point, it's going to come back down here. And we're going to mirror up our existing stops on the route. Again, we can look at maybe tweaking some of these stops if we need to. You can already hear the pings and buildings upgrading because they're now getting a, a direct transport link. And there we go. That's going to loop in there. So fingers crossed that will work exactly as I'd like it to. Just got to go and find the bus depot. There it is. There are our new blue buses. And we'll follow. Let's see where this one's going to start picking up from. Okay, so the first one picks up from here. That may be that the position of that is not the best, but we'll see going forward. <laughs> Look at them all queuing up here at this stop. It's going to take a little while, I think, for the route to kind of uh, sort itself out. And uh, for the buses to space themselves out a bit better. Uh, but, encouragingly, there is quite a large queue of people forming here. Let's uh, switch to a different one of these buses. One that's already on the route. There we go. So we're still getting a little bit of an overspill there. This stop here is quite useful because we're quite close to the biodome and the, uh, the vertical farm there. So there's a couple of little features that are you know, potentially quite useful. There you can see we've got the, uh, the green line stop just in front of us there. Now we're going to drive onto our main boulevard. And so what was just a, a parking space road is now actually a dedicated bus lane and it shouldn't affect the rest of the traffic. But of course it does give an option for emergency service vehicles to, uh, to have that second access road if they need it. And of course traffic will kind of ignore the bus lanes when it gets to junctions and they need to kind of change in you know their direction so we'll see some vehicles will peel off into the bus lane to turn at one of these junctions along here a lot of people waiting on that stop look at that so it's going to take a few cycles of our buses running through look how many are on the other side as well huge number of people waiting at that stop and look at the stop there wow that is just overloaded with people I wonder how many people are waiting at the actual best bus depot. That could be a lot of people. Still got another stop to go and another huge queue of people. Now we could just immediately, you know, push our budget up and throw loads of extra people, uh, uh, loads of extra buses at this service. But until it's done a few rotations and the buses have looped each loop round a few times, that might just be a complete waste of money. It might not be necessary because uh, the buses are all quite, kind of bunched up at the moment. They're all filling up at the exact same point. Uh, once they've gone through and those queues have started to reduce a bit, hopefully what we'll see is that uh, those, those big queues that we've got have, will start to thin out. Yeah, that's working quite nicely, isn't it? That in and out line there on the bus. That's good to see. Uh, hopefully we'll see that those queues will start to thin out and we won't need to just throw extra buses because that's just going to clog the roads up as well. We've got, you know, even more buses running. So just keep an eye on this stop here. See how many people are getting on and off with each bus. 
I mean, this is the first stop outside of the depot, so or outside of the terminal. So hopefully we should see, you know, decent kind of movement in the in the queue. I think some people get in, some people get out. Just wait for the next one. Yeah, see that's already reducing down reasonably significantly. Here comes the next bus. And they're spacing themselves a little bit there. Yeah, and there we go. That queue is almost gone. So if we look on the other side of the road, again, almost gone. So we don't need uh, to throw extra buses at this, it would seem. Obviously, a bit further up, we're still going to have large queues at some of these bus stops. These ones are going to take a little bit longer because by the time the buses on this first loop or two get to this one, they're already pretty much full from the big queues at the previous stop. But as they're you know, reduced uh, you know, at the earlier stops, then by the time we get to here, there's more space on buses, more passengers can get on. This will eventually work its way down. So as I say, it'll take a few rotations uh, around the route before we actually get a proper effect as to just how effective our buses are. But hopefully... We won't need to increase the service, and that will be enough. How many buses do we actually have running on the route as well, just out of interest? Uh, let's have a look. You see, this one's full already, look. Uh, if we go to this... Have we got nine? Yeah, we'll leave it at nine for now, but we may push that up to ten or eleven. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we do need to kind of tart this area up a little bit with some uh, uh, extra sort of leisure facilities. If we take a look at our uh, parks tab, we can see we've got this really big red block through here where there just isn't much in the way of leisure facilities. Uh, looking very, very nice over here, which is good because that's our hotel slash uh, leisure district over there. Uh, but we do need a few things in over here. So I'm going to go with a skate park somewhere over here, I think. Keep that near the school as well. Don't know if I want it directly next door, but yeah, if we do that, we're not going to affect the uh, the houses on the corner there. Look, so let's put a skate park in just there. Get some skaters whizzing around. Immediately hearing all the pings of buildings upgrading as they're getting uh, some leisure activities that they can take part in. Uh, what else have we got that we could potentially use? Uh, let's put in a Japanese garden somewhere. I think somewhere near the hotels might be a good idea. How about opposite the hotels? That'll have a nice little boost. And then as we expand into this bit here as well, uh, and obviously continue around here, we can drop in other facilities to sort of just boost the rest of these buildings. But a Japanese garden could be good. Uh, we need something over here as well. Let's go. Uh, do we go with the trusty dog park again? We do use that an awful lot, don't we? Uh, I'm going to go with a small playground over here as well. If I can find a good spot to squeeze that in. It's a shame it won't go right next door because of the uh, the school there. I'm toying with the idea of maybe switching the schools over. See, because of the roads are curved, it does make placing some of these buildings a little tricky at times. Uh, I, mean, I don't really want to necessarily stick it there and just have a house in between <laughs> everything like that. I would rather we could get that a bit closer and we can't. Um... Maybe look at a larger playground. Nope, that's even worse. It's not going to fit at all. Uh, could put one here in the corner here. Opposite the schools. I don't really need a park. No, so one just here. It'll be a bit overkill in this little area here. So maybe we won't do a playground. Let's uh, let's put another dog park in. I know it's our go-to. You know, it's small, easy to use. little uh, building here trying to find a good spot for it that's going to cover a, a decent area I think there's going to be the place on the corner there 
big wave of happiness and we should hear some pings and see some green arrows there we go I love seeing that I love seeing the citizens respond positively when you make a change like that and just buildings start upgrading all over the place that little endorphin rush of knowing that you've done something right. <laughs> what are we up to now? Just under 25,000 people. That's good. Okay. Uh, we want to start building a little bit of a uh, a business block over here, I think, somewhere. Uh, let's go back to Standard Road. Uh, this area here, I do want to have kind of uh, a little bit sort of uh, standardized. I'm going to put some offices and uh, and stuff in over here. So I'm going to have a little bit of a more regimental kind of design for this bit. Uh, something's not quite right. Why are these... Maybe it's the terrain that's causing the, uh, the zoning to do that. Maybe the road isn't quite straight. In fact, this one here. Let's go with a short little piece. Uh, and then we'll go freeform and we'll look to curve that. Oh, actually. Yeah. Let's do that. Kind of like that. Have a link up road there. Uh, let's put some offices in this area. We're going to need some water first of all. go. Let's just drop in some offices around here. Again, we'll have the buses nearby, which will be a nice little uh, link to get people into their jobs. And uh, immediately, because of our high demand for industry, you can see those buildings flashing up really quickly. Question is, do we make that an IT sector? Uh, I think probably not. I think we'll do an IT sector somewhere else. But lots of offices flashing up really quickly like that. And that's great to see. And we could do with maybe a little bit more commercial. Uh, we've still got stuff around this area to do. Uh, we are getting a delay in bodies being cleared. Because it's a bit of a trek, I think, to our nearest graveyard. So maybe, maybe we do need to stick a graveyard in. Let's stick one actually here in the centre. Over this side. Let's get to health. Maybe stick one here on approach to the offices. Is that really what we want to see next to offices? Graveyard? Well, yeah, we do it here in the UK. Why not? Uh, I want to leave space for a crematorium next door as well. There we go. Oh, yeah, and immediately again, we're getting the pings and the upgrades as we're getting that service uh, you know, coverage over this side. So all those office buildings that just went in are now suddenly getting a big upgrade. It's going to create more jobs. What's our employment situation like? Happiness levels. Commercial happiness could be higher, but everything else is pretty good. Uh, education. So we have... Uh, do, 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 do. About a quarter of our population now is highly educated. That's quite good. Only 3.5% of the population uneducated. Uh, we've got coverage across each of our levels. As you can see, we're not wanting for anything. We're a little tight on capacity for high school compared to the others, but we've still got enough space left over, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, what do I want to look at? Here we go. Unemployment is currently 12%. Wow, that's quite high, isn't it? I wonder if it counts children in the employment stats, though. We've got a population of... Uh... No, it can't do. Surely not.
yeah, it's got to take children and teens out of that. So we're probably looking at young adults, adults, and seen. Uh, uh, well, young adults and adults. I don't think seniors work, do they either? So. Yeah, we've got 12,000 jobs available, 11 and a half. So it says 12%, but it's not actually that many, is it? 12%. Uh, that's, actually, no, it's what, 5,000? I've got to try and think this through here. Uh, that'd be just over 2,500 people unemployed. Well, hopefully this will this will drop with these uh, these new jobs going in here. That'll start to come down, I hope. Still 12%. The number of jobs is increasing slightly. The number of people being employed is fluctuating a bit. Ah, there we go. Unemployment just dipped to 11%, so we're definitely having an impact. Oh, it's come back up. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, but we are definitely having an impact uh, on our unemployment levels. I can't believe it was that high. Wouldn't have thought it, really, would you? Lake's looking nice. Lake's looking so much healthier. That's good to see. Really pleased with that. Uh, let's uh, continue working along here. I want to put some more commercial in along here. And look at our industry demand has just suddenly shot up. All right, let's put an IT sector in over here as well. Uh, let's continue uh, throwing in some uh, some roads around here. probably put a plaza or something in this gap let's have a look at our plazas that's had a nice effect can't quite squeeze one in just there as well which would have been nice although I could ah, actually that might be better Oh, no, it's not quite wide enough. All right, let's take that one out. Let's look at a smaller plaza, perhaps. Just there. Like that. And let's connect the pathway before we zone stuff in as well. Uh, so we'll put in a little path. Uh, let's do it here. Like that. There we go. Let's do the same over here. Let's run a pathway. Along there like that. And then run that down like that. There we go. I don't know if that'll actually allow access onto that plaza from that pathway, but at the very least, it's a nice little scenic kind of cut through. We can maybe even throw in a little bit of trees along the side of the path as well as stuff starts zoning in. Uh, do I have water coverage all the way up here? Yes, I do. So let's make a little IT sector and zone it first so it doesn't build, then destroy, then rebuild. So, again, I want to try and square up just to make it easier for drawing the district. And then I can trim it out afterwards. But we'll have a little IT sector in here. So Sunset Heights is our nice little IT cluster that we'll put in. Uh, so let's find offices, IT cluster. There we go. Uh, and let's uh, zone that.
I might do a little bit of commercial along here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's throw a little bit of commercial along here. There we go. Uh, no office. That's what I want for that little block just there. There we go. Wow, look at how big those buildings are going up in comparison to other offices. Bit of a sky rise situation there. They're towering way above the hotels that are normally very, very tall and look a bit out of place, uh, especially in a low density area. The hotels have a, a tendency to look a little out of place. Uh, but look how big these towers are. They're huge. Lots of jobs being created there, though. Look at the demand has suddenly just disappeared for industry as uh, all those uh, buildings are spawning in. Same with our commercial industry. That's dropped away significantly. It's starting to come back a little bit, I said. <laughs> as I say that, you know. But it is all coming in quite nicely. Uh take a quick look at our employment stats still 12% still hasn't changed the number of jobs available you can see we've got mostly adults around this area here what's the demographic actually of people in our clean areas so this area over here uh, it's kind of a mix isn't it between uh, sort of families and adults a few seniors living in these areas as well we don't have Sort of a designated senior area. I don't know, can you create a senior area? Like a retirement complex, I wonder? I don't know. A commercial desire has gone right back up again, look. Trouble is, if we just keep responding to that commercial desire, we'll end up with just a ton of jobs, or a ton of shops that nobody wants to work in. So we'll end up with just businesses going out of, you know, going out of business constantly. It's always better to have the demand rather than have the stuff and no demand because you know, everything just starts to fail then. Uh, we could do with a little bit of officing over here, I think, as well, perhaps. Just a little bit. There we go. Just to fill that gap in a little bit. Uh, I could also actually go ahead and put in... It might be better if I pause for a second. Put a park in here instead, actually, like that, opposite the buses. Do I really want to give up some prime real estate like that? Tell you what, we haven't done. We haven't put in any uh, high res stuff yet, have we? Let's let's take those out and put in some high res residential just there instead. said high res, didn't I? High density is what I meant to say, not high res. Still getting stuff spawning in around here. This is all part of our IT uh, clusters. The law accounting. <laughs> what other stuff have we got? What other new companies can we spot? Blunder. <laughs> Neutron clear dine. I can't see what that says. What does that say? In that building. Uh, I wonder if I if I walk in here. Can I look up and see what it says? read it tree in the way red ladder media ah go nuts donuts rowboat solutions <laughs> con man conductors <laughs> let's take another little wander around 
See if we can find something that looks a little bit like me. I can fucking be a... F <laughs> I can be a seagull. Can't change my height though, so it looks a bit weird. It's just this kind of bird flapping around at ground level. We don't even stick to the terrain, do we? We just stay at a set height. It's like peak, uh, <laughs> seagull simulator. That's uh, what would happen if we just kind of hovered over the <laughs> over the lunches here, trying to steal some sandwiches. Maybe we should get Yogi the bear in. Trying to steal some picnic baskets. We can go as a wolf. And back to a person again. So the selection of people isn't that... That looks like a convict. Someone in an orange jumpsuit. This goes an old man. Superposition systems. Token technologies. Hide your secrets in the quantum world. What's the name of the security company? Can't make that out. It's uh, a little bit too blurry. Whoop! Nearly got one over. It's actually quite cool to just kind of wander around our city like this, isn't it? Itsy bitsy critter. <laughs> Software tactics. Border robotics. It's, I, I do enjoy looking at some of the uh, uh, strange names that get created. Uh, that's just completely blurred out. Can't read that. But there we go. Uh, yeah, it's all coming along quite nicely over here. Uh, there we go, get the camera back under control. It pans so much faster as well than, I'm, than I remember it doing since the update. Uh, we're up to 24,500 people. That huge industrial demand is back. Uh, those offices coming in quite nicely just there. Unemployment down to 10% now. Now 9%. Oh, we had it briefly, very briefly into uh, single-digit unemployment. Getting a, a bit of a problem over here. Is that lack of workers? Not enough educated workers. Uh, well, that'll sort itself out. There's only one uneducated person there. There are, say, uh, there are jobs uh, available for educated workers. We've got our uh, MIT uh, or sorry, MTI over here, opposite our high school. Uh, we've also got uh, a university campus somewhere over here, I think it was, that we put it in. Where did we put that? It was somewhere over here, I think. That's the school. That's another school. Where did I put my campus? Let's find it. I'm, I'm curious as to where I left it now. Oh, there. So we weren't far off, actually. This is what I was looking for. Right there. There on the corner. That's our uh, faculty. Uh, sort of mini uni over there. So, uh, yeah, we've got plenty of uh, availability uh, and a couple of diff different locations for people to go into higher education. Uh, this area is definitely coming along quite nicely. I don't really want to work too much more over here uh, until we get access to that uh, tile. So... Uh, we could work this way, around this side of the lake. Uh, we've still got this bit of space over here to work with as well. I reckon we should probably try and do something with this. Uh, and we've also got this space over here. Let's try and get a bit more manufacturing in, perhaps. Did we get railway access yet? We did. Maybe put in a uh, a dedicated cargo hub somewhere over here. I mean, it's, it's all working quite nicely over here. I don't really want to kind of mess with that too much. You know, traffic isn't too heavy. There's no complaints about lack of services. If I make it too much bigger, we're going to start getting issues. Good access to the freeway here. Traffic's flowing quite well around there as well, as you can see. I 
think what I will do though, just for, you know, I don't think it's going to make any difference on our traffic at all, but let's just upgrade that to triple lane there. Everything seems to be just going for that inside line look, that inside lane. Something in the middle lane for a second then. Yeah, a lot of the traffic's just turning off down there, look. So it's all using that middle lane. You know, that inside line. Very little else is being using... Is using the other stuff. The occasional vehicle, but... It gives us a little bit more, sort of, uh, options to try and avoid a queue just there. Which potentially won't be a queue. Seems to run reasonably well. Getting a little busy. Is that because I've changed the traffic? Changed the roundabout a little bit. We're getting more traffic pumping out. I think I might have just caused a tail back there <laughs> by changing the road. Let's switch it back. I hope that that'll uh, resolve that. We may have to completely rebuild that uh, connection going forward at some point in the future if it just gets too too much traffic going through there. This is why I want to get uh, another sort of got this freeway access here, but I'd like to get freeway access over here as well again, just so we've got multiple access points to get in and out of the city, so that we're not clogging up with too much traffic uh, in any one specific place. Uh, so I need to think what we're going to do over here. Do we still need these water towers now that we've got our pump working again? Because I might get rid of those. What's our water situation looking like? We've got an, an over... And we've got a surplus. Let's, uh, let's take one of those out. That's how, yeah, we can't really afford to get rid of both of them. Not yet. Not without uh, putting in another pump on the lake. I'm not sure we we can kind of get away with two pumps on the lake yet. Let's try it. Let's try a second pump on the lake and see if we can get away with it. A little patch of clear water just there. Oh, no, look. We've got someone sick. That's, that's that's polluted water. That's just one person at the moment. It's the first time I've spotted that since we did all that cleanup stuff at the top. This is pollution. We might need to relocate that recycle center. Just keep making people sick that live in that little area over there. Um, ambulance has turned up to cure those people there of slightly slightly dodgy water but nobody else seems to be affected yet so that's that's encouraging I'm gonna move this collector a little bit closer move that there that uh, just uh, again anything that's sneaking around the edge here and isn't getting picked up by that one there uh, will hopefully get cleaned by that one first so that should stop dodgy water sneaking into the pump there uh, and no one else is complaining look though we had that one house just over here somewhere that complained about being a little bit a uh, little bit of a dicky tummy from uh, from dodgy water but everything else everyone else is absolutely fine and that will have a big impact on our water pumping so now I can take this out possibly I can even get away with taking out uh, where is it this one over here as well Try taking that one out. I can always put that in somewhere else if necessary, but I wanted to get rid of it from our sort of water network over there if we can. Uh, I did need to fix a little bit of the zoning over here as well, didn't I? 
Why is that house there at that random angle? How is that even there? I don't understand how that even can exist there like that. There's no access. It's got to be a, 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 a sort of result of the water tower going in there, I suppose. This was the bit I needed to clean up as well, wasn't it? Um, so that's all part of that block. That's that. That one actually needs to become residential. Need to repair that. And take both of those houses out and let a new one spawn in its place. Um, I'm going to leave that like that for now. How does that even exist? I just don't get that. I really don't get that at all. How I, how is that even being created like that? And and if I zone it, please tell me nothing's going to spawn there. If I zone it, I'm going to put a shop there and see <laughs> see if it spawns in. Yeah, nothing spawning. That's that's bizarre. That's very bizarre. But uh, it is what it is, I suppose. Right. Well, we've reached the end of another episode. Uh, we've uh, improved our water pumping. Uh, we've got uh, some clear space over here, so next time out, I think we'll look to do something in this gap over here. Um, you know, because I don't really want to expand this much, or this area, too much more uh, and, until we get access here. Because it then could make planning where the, uh, the access point to the freeway is going to go uh, a little bit trickier. So we'll hold off expanding this section uh, until we get this tile. Unless we absolutely kind of have to. We are... 11,000 people short of the next milestone which is when we get the next tile so yeah we'll, we'll look at putting some stuff in here we'll also perhaps start looking at threading bits of high density through our city as well got another very f briefly flashed up then just spotted another water issue flash up incredibly quickly and then disappear again uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that as well but uh, it looks as though we are making good progress on the lake uh, the city's coming along reasonably nicely. We are a third of the way to hitting our 75,000 person population uh, target. So, yeah, making good progress. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob, and I'll be back with some more cleanup crew for the Green Cities DLC here on the PS4 very soon.